Hello and welcome to the next episode of the Klingberg Wing Mark II Development. I'm Raul Klingberg, your host. Today we're out in the front yard looking at the uh, drawing of half the wing. Uh, you may or may not be able to see the black lines on my little screen here. I can't see them. Uh, but the uh, paper itself is about uh, four inches wider than the wing. Um, there's about a two inch border up front, two inch border in back, so you get an idea of the size of this. There's my lovely daughter out there holding uh, one of the winglets in the uh, proper location. Her name's Amelia. And uh, if, in case you're curious, she is named after Amelia Earhart. So I'm going to go down and uh, take you on a little tour of the wing. Here you can see the uh, center of gravity indicated here. That's the center of gravity that we need when we're flying. So that means the pilot's going to have to sit slightly in front of that. The pilot will be suspended below the wing. Uh, the root cord here is a little over four feet. And uh, we'll have a regular pilot's cage, something like you've seen before. And uh, I'm now standing in about the spot where the pilot would sit. So the view out along the wing for the pilot uh, will be the underside of what you see here. Then uh, the first section of the wing, uh, for half the wing, is one foot wide here. And uh, that will be, be a foot on the other side. So we're gonna have a two foot wide center section that stays as one unit. And that unit will have the pilot's cage uh, attached to it. Uh, it folds uh, up for transportation uh, so that the control system, the control stick and the drive system are always installed and we don't have to take them apart, and put them back together again. So there's a two foot wide center section of the wing. Here we start with the rigid inboard portion of the wing. Uh, and you see the flap here. The flap is seven feet in span total. Uh, it runs up to here. And this portion of the wing will have a composite D-tube here and probably a composite upper skin to here, uh, fabric on the bottom. And then the aft portion, the flap itself, will be covered in fabric top and bottom. So we have seven feet of flap on this side. It's one foot wide. Uh, so that's a total of 14 square feet of flat available. Uh, standard takeoff position will be 10 or 15 degrees. Thermally will be about 10 degrees. And landing, it'll deploy down to 90 degrees. Uh, a wing joint will be right here where the flap ends. So we're going to have an inboard portion of the wing that is 7 feet long. And that should be easily handled by one person. The flap will fold up 180 degrees underneath the wing for storage so we don't have a section that's too terribly wide uh, for transportation. And then the elevon starts here at that wing joint and goes out for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 feet. So we have about 11 feet of span in elevon and it is going to be uh, one foot wide here at the root and a little bit narrower at the tip. So we got about 10 square feet of elevon on each side for 20 total. The torque tube for the Elevon will come in here, right about here, up at this point, and it runs at a slightly different angle than the flap itself until it intersects here and connects into the Elevon. You might see a little mark here at the end of my stick where the torque tube is going to connect in and drive the Elevon. This is the exposed surface of the Elevon. There is a portion that comes forward uh, that is a radius uh, nose on the Elevon for uh, rotation. Uh, and it's covered up by part of the upper skin. I'm undecided at this point whether the upper surface of this portion of the wing will be composite or fabric, and that's to be determined. But the leading edge of the wing will be composite carbon fiber and fiberglass. Here you see the uh, mean aerodynamic cord point. Uh, this is the average cord of the wing, and all of the forces occur about that. This point is about 43% of the semi-span, which Elon Crew calls for to... Uh, in an attempt to achieve a maximum performance uh, in terms of span efficiency factor. So it is this point that we draw a perpendicular back in and gets us to the neutral point, which is about back in here. And then for a nice 20% static margin, that puts the CG up there. So now as we come back out here to uh, the uh, winglet, uh, this is the uh, auto yaw winglet. And go ahead and pivot that outboard, just twist it a little bit. So when it corrects for yaw, it's going to swing outboard like that. And then when it comes back inboard, it stops in the neutral position, which is straight back from the wing. 
uh, you see here uh, the lines showing a two inch wide section of the wing that will be rigid uh, winglet mount and this is another wing joint here so we're going to have 11 feet of a panel there with the elevon on it that is a separate panel and then there's this uh, winglet mount the winglet will be attached in this if you watch my other videos you'll see how that winglet mount is going to be built uh, this will provide access underneath for insertion of the pins that will join up the outer wing panel and then over here we have the last one two three four five feet of the wing plus the wing tip uh, this part of the wing will be constructed in pretty much the same manner as uh, the winglet itself. It'll be conventional wood construction. In fact, here on the other side of the winglet, you see it's not covered. You see that it's made out of plywood and styrofoam and carbon fiber and fiberglass, a variety of components in there. The, I'm going to make two different uh, wing tips. One is going to have uh, a composite leading edge. One's going to have a plywood leading edge with a carbon fiber tube along the entire leading edge. We'll see which one is lighter and more durable. And then here, uh, out here, this is going to be a balsa wing tip, much like we have on the winglet itself. You can see that up here where the plywood ends and it goes to balsa wood here. Uh, balsa is a wonderful material for aircraft, uh, light and strong and easily repaired. So that gives you an idea of the uh, size of the aircraft for half the wingspan and you can see it's quite large uh, but currently we're on track to uh, have this weigh about 95 pounds for the entire aircraft now that doesn't include instruments or parachute or harness uh, but in terms of empty weight that's uh, excellent and uh, please stay tuned future videos watch the continued development i'm going to finish up the winglets and we're going to work work on a um, cockpit mock-up. You'll see some videos coming on that. And then I'll begin construction of the uh, wingtips themselves uh, before proceeding with the inboard panels. So thanks for watching and come back and see some more later. Bye now.